surviving during lockdown. The only thing that's been keeping me going is knowing that I'm going back to school in two weeks. Normally I would not be excited, but I am so excited, literally. I can't wait. I can't remember if I've already said this, but today we're going to be doing a shoe collection. Now I have always had a love of shoes. My shoe love has slightly declined recently just because of funds. Over my years of collecting shoes, I have collected many. Let me just say that my shoe collection did not start off well. I was a proud owner of Adidas Superstars, Reeboks, you know the white ones with the holographic detailing. I'll insert some photos in case people don't know what I'm talking about. And last but not least, I had some patent black feeler disruptors. I'm just going to own it because I think all of those shoes made me into the woman I am today. So, here we are. So my first category of shoes is just going to be called Doc Martens because I don't have any other boots as much as I would like some. I really want some of those high knee um, boots. Oh, they look so nice. But basically the first ones are these. I'll show you way better photos because I won't be able to show them very well. But basically I've got these platform classic. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six eyelets down each side and I actually wear these as my school shoes. And I bought them literally like two years ago and I love them. They're so comfy. They took me so long to wear in because it really, really hurt when I first wore them. But yeah, these are the first Doc Martens I've ever owned. Um, if you can get yourself some of these, I would definitely recommend because they are so comfy once you've worn them in. But yeah, I wear them to school. They're brilliant. Walk around in them casually, just a win-win. Okay, so the next shoes I actually got for Christmas. And they're also platform Doc Martens, but they're the boot version. Now, I like plain leather a lot, but I also like myself a bit of crocodile reptile print. And I really wanted to get the ones that are called the Jaden boots, I'm pretty sure, but they look like so much effort to put on. Like, you have to tie the shoelaces, get your foot in, do the zip. Oh my god, I'm so lazy. But basically, these ones have a zip on the front, so you just slot your foot in, and they're on, and it's brilliant. I think these are called the Sinclair boot. I don't know if you can still get them. Also, all of my shoes are in a size 5, just in case anyone was wondering. I don't know why that's relevant. Okay, I'll now move on to my Nike, Nike shoes. Um, I used to have a bigger collection of Air Forces, but I actually sold a few of them just because they didn't really fit me and yeah. Okay, so the first ones I have to show you are these. Now I know they're destroyed and they're really, really old and I drew on them like an edgy girl I was three years ago. But yeah, these are just plain white Nike Jesters. They've got a few colours of these. I really, really like these because they're not like the normal Nike Air Forces because they actually are a bit platformed and I hate not platform shoes. I don't think they look flattering on me. I just think it makes my feet look really long and gross. So I'm always about the platform, as you can see in this video so far. But yeah, so these are just plain white. I mean, obviously not anymore. I coloured this one in purple with some flames. And then this one in green with some flames. And then on the back, I don't even know what's going on. But yeah. Okay, so the next pair of shoes definitely have to be... Maybe have to be one of my favourites. Actually, no. They're my favourite... No. They are my most proudest Depop find. They're really, really dirty because I wore them in the park the other day. But they are these Nike Air Force One jewels. I think it's called the Jewel Collection. And they have this really cool, like bobble instead of like just the tick like on the other shoes and I'm obsessed with them. The bubble isn't even the best part. Guess how much I paid for these on Depop? £25. £25. Also they don't look like they're in good condition now because I've worn them but they were in such good condition when I bought them. So yeah these are amazing size 5 high tops. I love them. These aren't platform, but these are the only shoes that I'll, I'll allow not to be platform. The next pair of shoes are a little bit sensitive to me because they are the 2016 up-tempo shoes. Now I bought these last summer. Well actually no, I got them for my birthday, but I had to contribute to them because they were quite expensive. So I paid about 250 quid for them. And when I first got them, I was just like walking around, like no one had my shoes. Like I'm not trying to gatekeep, I do sound like I'm gatekeeping. I'm really, really not. It's just, the reason I'm annoyed is because I paid £250 for them. Not saying I wouldn't do that again because I loved them. But then they got remade and people started buying them for like 80 quid, and I was just like, I just spent an extra, oh, a hundred and, 
60 quid? I don't know, I don't know maths. I paid so much more for them than what they were being sold for again, and now I do sometimes see people wearing them. And I'm not annoyed, because they are great shoes, and they are so comfy, but that's the only reason I'm annoyed. I might try and get some other up tempos. I saw these ones that were white and had blue on them, and they were so nice. But I do love these, like they are literally my favourite shoes and I got them for my 17th birthday so I will keep them. Okay so the next pair of shoes I actually bought in a vintage shop in Edinburgh called Armstrong's. Probably the only vintage shop there is in Edinburgh that I know of. But they're these like vintage 2000s Nikes. Honestly I've never really worn them because they're low, they don't have a platform and they look kind of weird on my feet just because, I don't know, I've got small feet so it makes it look weird. But I do really like them. I've got this really cool detailing on them with this, like a little bubble. I can't show you. I'll show you a better photo. But yeah, I do actually quite like these. I used to really like coloured shoes, but now I've kind of changed off it. So that's why I bought them, because I bought them about a year ago. But yeah, I think I'm going to be selling these on my Depop. So if you want to buy them, Buffy Vintage 97. I'll sell them for like £15 because, you know, they're not in perfect condition, but they're still wearable. So the next ones I got for Christmas three years ago. No fifth form. Two years ago. Two Christmases ago, not including this Christmas. So three Christmases ago. I got these, um, I think they're called the Air Max 97s. I used to be obsessed with these, like I really really like them still. I don't really wear them that often just because they're not really my style anymore, but I will not throw them away. They've got like, they're like multicoloured, like the, the lines have like different colours on them. They're so comfy. I know I've kind of destroyed them a bit and my dog ate the shoelace. But yeah, I love these shoes. I think you can still get Air Max 97, so definitely get some if you want some comfy, wearable, walking around town shoes, because these are so good. I love these. I'm gonna wear these more, because I actually really, really like them. Okay, so the last pair of Nikes aren't really like fashion. I don't really know why I'm including them in the video, but they were in my shoe box, so I just brought them with me. But they're basically my games running gym shoes. They're just like purple. I don't know, I'm not going to show them to you because they're not very interesting. So the final pair of Nikes that I have are these. I can't remember what the name of them are. I'll insert them on the screen here so you guys can see. But I got these on Depop for £10. I haven't actually worn them that much because I feel like they're more of a summer shoe and I don't want to walk around in the mud and get them all gross. But yeah, I mean, they're a little bit damaged. Like They've got a bit of a scuff on the front, but for 10 quid, that's pretty good. They're really, really nice. I like the little pink tick. I just said I didn't like colourful shoes whatever. I really really like these. They're really lightweight and comfy and I feel like if I go on walks, not that I will, if I go on a walk I'll wear these because they're really really nice. Okay so these shoes aren't um, Nikes but they're the only other shoes that I have apart from two more pairs that I'm going to show you but they're different so they deserve their own section. But got these black buffaloes. Black buffaloes are just a statement in my opinion. I wouldn't get the white ones because I feel like they just get really, really dirty and really, really gross and they'd be hard to clean. But I love these shoes. I bought them in London two summers ago. Honestly, I broke them because I was partying a little bit too hard in them. This bit came undone, so I had to go to the shoe people and get them to glue it together, but it was fine. Like, they lasted and they're so good, so comfy. They're quite heavy, so you need to have strong legs to wear them, but I really, really love these shoes. Get yourself a pair of these if you want some really nice comfortable platform shoes. So the final section is a little bit weird but I thought they were fun to include because I do like these shoes. So the first shoes of this section are actually boots and they only come out on special occasions of the year. They're my moon boots. I've got these silver moon boots. I wear them when I go skiing to like change out of my ski boots. But I've also worn them in Edinburgh recently because it was snowing and they are so comfy. You know that sensation that you get after you take off your ski boot and you put on a normal shoe and it's like weird? Well it's even weirder with this on but it's so comfy. The final shoes. Definitely my favourite shoes. Green Crocs. Crocs are just the best shoes ever. Like they are the best shoes ever. You know you can wear them in water. You know it's a win-win. They're comfy. I wear them as slippers around my house. I'm going to wear them in the summer. I'm going to wear them around school. Actually maybe not because I don't want them to be stolen. Not that anyone would want to steal some lime green crocs. But yeah. Anyways, those are all of my shoes that I have to show you guys today. I will be selling those ones on Depop, so go check out my Depop. And I definitely want to grow my shoe collection. So if anyone has any recommendations for their favourite shoes, let me know in the comments. And yeah, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It wasn't very long, but some people asked to see it, so I filmed it. Anyway, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!